Lenz's law. The induced current in a loop is in the direction that creates a magnetic field that opposes the change in magnetic flux through the area enclosed by the loop. <clears throat> so let's consider this experiment. We have a conducting bar that slides to the right with velocity v. The magnetic flux due to the external magnetic field is into the page, so the magnetic flux will be equal to uh, b times area because they are parallel to each other here, uh, b, b vector and area vector, and the area is Lx, so it is Blx. So as this uh, conducting bar slides to the right, Bl times x will increase because x is increasing, so the flux through this loop will be increasing. According to Lenz's law, there should be an induced current such that the, the Magnetic field created by this current will oppose the increasing flux. So if the flux is increasing into the page, what is the direction of the magnetic field created by this current flowing in the counterclockwise direction? Using the right hand rule, our thumb points in the direction of the current, the fingers, four fingers, curl outside the uh, out of the page inside the loop so we can see that the magnetic field created by this current is basically in this direction that is the magnetic field created by this current so uh, it's basically opposing the increasing flux and therefore this tells us the direction of the current it should be flowing counterclockwise so that the magnetic field will be directed out of the page due to this current and remember, for a conducting a wire, it's mu zero i over 2 pi r. So this actually flux, the magnetic field decreases as we, as we go outside, uh, we, as we go farther away from this uh, conducting segment here. Uh, but this, the, same, the same thing is true for this side. There will be a current flowing in this direction, creating a magnetic field in this direction etc. and also the same thing here creating a magnetic field in this direction etc. So this induced uh, magnetic field will be opposing the increase in the flux. Okay so the direction should be counterclockwise so that the uh, flux uh, the magnetic field inside the loop points uh, out of the page opposing the increasing flux due to the uniform magnetic field into the page. Now if we had a scenario where this bar is moving to the left side then the flux into the page would decrease. In that case we want to create a magnetic field into the page so that the flux will be uh, we will be opposing the decreasing flux uh, due to this decreasing area, x will be decreasing. In that case, the current should flow clockwise so that the magnetic field created by this current will be pointing into the page. The right-hand rule tells us if our thumb points in the direction of the current, the four fingers inside the loop will curl into the page. So the same thing is true here and the same thing is true here. We will have an induced magnetic field into the page, into the page, etc. So this will be increasing the flux. So therefore, the current would flow in this direction uh, so that we have, uh, we will be opposing the decreasing flux into the page. Okay, so the magnetic flux is Blx and if V is to the right, phi B is increasing because area is increasing. B due to the induced current will be pointing out of the page to oppose the increase in flux. So current should flow counterclockwise in this scenario. If the V is to the left, we will have opposite current direction uh, so that we will have a clockwise current that will be opposing the decreasing flux. Now, if I look at this scenario and assume that uh, the current would flow in the opposite direction, so let's say that the current was flowing in the clockwise direction instead of counterclockwise direction. Now, I L cross B, so this, this would be the direction of the uh, current pointing down, L cross uh, B would say that there would be a magnetic force to the right which would be causing acceleration, okay? So FB would cause acceleration. This violates the conservation of energy. So if this is to... Uh, uh, 
this cannot accelerate by itself, so the induced current cannot be in the clockwise direction, which would cause a magnetic force to the right and cause this bar to accelerate. So therefore, uh, we can argue that due to the requirement of conservation of energy, the current should flow in the counterclockwise direction. In that case, L cross B, L cross B points to the left, which would cause deceleration of this uh, bar. Okay, so we talked about Lenz's law. Lenz's law tells us the direction of the induced current. That in order to determine the direction of the induced current, we need to look at the change in the magnetic flux in the conducting loop. If it is increasing, the current should be in a direction that uh, opposes this uh, change in the uh, flux. So increasing magnetic flux into the page would require an in, uh, an induced magnetic field out of the page in the in the inside the loop. So the current should flow counterclockwise. A decreasing magnetic flux, if the bar is moving to the left, would imply that the induced current would produce a magnetic flux into the page, additional flux that opposes this decrease in the magnetic flux into the page. In that case, the current would flow in the clockwise direction. And if in this scenario, if we assumed that the current flows in the opposite direction, I L cross B, the magnetic force would point to the right, which would imply acceleration, increase in kinetic energy. But there is no source of this energy, so therefore this violates the conservation of energy. The energy of the system cannot increase by itself, and therefore we would require that the current should flow in the opposite direction, which is counterclockwise.